have a pulse capacitor which is currently hooked up pretty uh, poor and jankly just to make sure that it works because these are not tested and I wanted to make sure that these were working capacitors before I sink a lot of money into proper copper bus bar. Um, the stats on them are right there, 11 kilovolts, 830 microfarads, tested it to about 840 microfarads, give or take a little bit, and the setup up, the setup that I'm using right now is this plugging up into a variac, and then the variac goes into a mic microwave transformer. Microwave transformer is set up on full wave rectifier, which then goes into a switching unit and charges the capacitor. The switch is set up so that way positive and negative are fully isolated. So that way when the bank is discharged, we're not sending a spike of voltage back into the, uh, the uh, diodes and all that stuff. So when I discharge it, I open up both of those contacts and then charging mode, you put those back open or closed. And then 200 mega ohm, 30 kV resistor for the voltage divider. Also currently hooked up jankly with alligator clips, super safe. And that goes to there. And then the meter lets me read it where one volt is um, 100 volts. So 10 volts would be one kilovolt on the bank. And so far, I've only been charging this to about 1800 volts, which is about 1,300 joules. Not a crazy, a lot of power compared to what this thing's capable of. Um, 11 kV at 830 microfarads would be about, I think, uh, 52 or 50 kilojoules, which is a shitload of energy. So that's what this is. And poke. <laughs> yup. <laughs> And see what it does. Don't work, <laughs> Click this open, and then don't look at the blinding light and poking.